This tutorial will guide you through logging into the DQ Tech website for electronic track logs. This website is a secondary source for a driver to be able to change duty status as well as view and edit their log records, assume unidentified driving records, and view their log charts. To access this website, go to internet to dqtech.com. Once at dqtech.com, in the upper right-hand corner of the website page, there's a link to login. Click on the login. This will take you to the login website for the driver. To log in, log in using the same driver username and password as they would use to log into the ODT mobile app. Click log in. The first option that they'll be presented is in the ability to change their duty status. Under the e-log section of the website, they have the ability to view driver event rec log records, which would also allow them to edit or annotate, view the log charts, and or view the unidentified driving records, as well as assume or reject those records. To view the driver log chart, click on the view log chart option. This provides the driver with the current day's log records in chart form, as well as allows them from the calendar drop down on the right to go back to specific days in the last eight days, as well as browse using the arrows to the right of the calendar to look, move one day forward or one day back at a time and view their previous eight days log records. They also have the ability to print any given day uh, log chart. To view or ev edit event log records, click on the e-logs driver event log option. Hit the search function. This will present the driver with the last eight days worth of driving event records. Select the specific day that the driver would like to review, and that will open up and display those driving records for that day for that driver. From here, the driver has the option under the actions column to the far right to add an annotation to any given driving of any given event. The driver also has the ability to insert new events that are not related to driving statuses. If they insert a new event, they'll want to select the proper status, verify the time when that status occurred, enter in a location, as well as a comment related to what the status insert is for, and hit the Save button. This will display and enter that into their driving event records. The driver also has the ability to view unidentified records related to the vehicles that that driver has been in over the last eight days. To do so, go to e-logs, unidentified driving records, hit the search option, and select the day for which they wish to look at the unidentified records. If they wish to assume those records, because they are related to events and activity that that driver is responsible for, click on the action icon and accept and, and the assume option, and that will assume and assign that particular driving event to the driver uh, as, as appropriated. This concludes the GPS website for ELD for drivers.